So let's look at um, another truth. All behavior requires permission, so we must learn what we are permitting ourselves to do. Tell me what that means to you. Larry, I'll never forget where I learned that truth. It was not in graduate school. It was not conducting therapy or facilitating recovery. It was uh, sitting in driver improvement class. I needed more material for the book, so I decided to go speeding one day so I could get <laughs> pulled over. And But we're in this class, and there's a gruff military-type guy going, why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you in my class? And we're all giving the same lame excuses like, I was running a little bit late, or uh, I think he meant to pull someone else over. And he said, no, the reason you're in my class is because you give yourselves permission to exceed the speed limit when operating your vehicle. And I don't know what else he said the rest of the class because I was fixated on that. I thought, he's right. When it says 45, I'm doing 53. I, I hope no state troopers are watching right, this. Right. But, but if it says 70, I'm often doing 79 or so. And why is that? Because I have permission from the self to go faster than the sign says. And as he's talking, then I thought about all the things I have never permitted myself to do, and thus they've never happened. I've never smoked anything. I've never hit a female, never robbed a 7-Eleven at gunpoint. There are things I have never done because I have never granted myself permission to do those things. The things we do are the things that we allow ourselves. We That's give ourselves exactly permission. It. That's exactly you know, you, you, you reach a place in life where you say, am I going to permit myself to pick up that first Oreo? Hmm. The other night I did that, and it was amazing how eight other ones followed right behind. <laughs> and had I said no to the first one, the rest of them would not have happened. But I gave myself permission in a weak moment to eat that first one, knowing what kind of an effect they have on me. They, so you really they don't gave, travel alone. You gave yourself permission to eat eight. <laughs> yeah. But you could have given yourself permission to only eat one. I could have. That was a lot harder than none. <laughs> no one can eat just one. That's the old Lay's <laughs> potato, chip. potato chip. Yeah. I, I, I get it. So we give ourselves the reason why our behavior is this way is because we allow it. You know, we do. And, you know, I've been impressed sometimes looking at younger people and seeing them disrespect or even curse at their older, their elders, or their, whether they're parents or, or teachers. And I thought, you know, when I was a kid, I, I wouldn't even think to do that because it wasn't within the realm of uh, possibilities. It wasn't on the menu of options. It was not something permitted to do, period. So it, it didn't happen. What about something like anger? Anger is a great principle to bring up here because we all get angry to some extent. But what is it we permit ourselves to do when angry? You know, we mentioned before that neither one of us had ever hit a female. Right. And it's not that I've never been angry at females. It's just that that's not something on the menu of options. Um, so I have to know beforehand what are my options, what am I going to permit myself to do, and enact that and that only. For instance, for me, if I'm feeling very angry, I also know that I could say cutting words and that could do as much damage as a slap across the face mm -hmm. or worse. So my mindset is walk away. Walk away and collect yourself because you don't have permission to hurt another person. Mm -hmm. It's what not acceptable. What about people who are angry? Is it that just who I am? No. Anger comes from the perception of violation. Anger comes from having expectations as to how things should be. And when they don't go the way I think they should be, I feel I perceive a violation and I get angry. And some people walk around where they're always perceiving violations because their expectations are that things should be so much different than they really are. For instance, they might get angry because it's humid outside when in fact it's going to be humid outside for right. nine, ten months out of the year. But this one day they walked outside and they felt the humidity and they got angry because their expectation is I should walk out and 
feel better, feel cooler. Do you think sometimes uh, a parent might be angry with a child or a spouse, yet go to work and have something worse happen but not be angry with your boss? Because, or yeah. at least not express that anger in the same way you would in someone who is uh, less uh, dominant or uh, someone who has a lower position in your mind. Well, it's an excellent point you're making because there's, there's two concepts that uh, you're shedding light on. The first one is I don't give myself permission to say anything ugly to my boss because of the fear I might lose my job. And that leads into the second one, which is I can displace that very same anger onto my wife at home or the kids because I'm not afraid of the consequences of expressing that anger towards them. I'm still angry, but I'm not demonstrating it at work. I'm taking it out on them. So the, the, the classic example is, you know, the husband comes home, yells at the wife, who takes it out on the kids, who kick the dog, who chases the cat, et cetera. Right, right. And, and this is it's but, a place a displacement. So really, all behavior requires permission. Yeah. So, so without permission, it really uh, cannot do those things. It's something that we allow it. We do, and 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 people are very surprised at first because it just feels like things that I do. Not that I said it's okay to do, but I have to begin by saying it's okay to do this, and that's true whether I'm selling a house or starting an exercise program, or breaking the exercise program, starting a diet, breaking a diet, everything requires permission. All day long, I'm forever saying, am I gonna permit myself to go up to that person and say hello? Well, what if they don't, hmm. what if they don't respond well? So a well, statement like, he makes me so angry. Yeah, well, as as you know, in asking the question, I'm abdicating responsibility onto somebody else. Exactly. No one makes you feel anything. The way you perceive the world creates your emotions. And so I'm making myself angry over the things he does is the truth, but I don't like saying it that way. I'd rather say he pisses me off or right. he yeah. upsets me or he angers me every time that guy makes me crazy. And sometimes in traffic, you give yourself permission to be angry. And You've other, seen me. And other times, the traffic is just as bad, yet you're not angry. Yeah. And it's about giving yourself permission this day and not another day, or maybe extenuating circumstances that you forget some control techniques or whatever. You know, it's absolutely true, because on some days, I might even be preoccupied with something else. I might be singing along with the radio. I might have more time. And I might not be as upset as another day when I'm already tense because I'm running a little behind and someone cuts me off and I just think, that did it, this guy. And I start attributing things to the driver that, you know, he's bad, he knowingly did that, he's evil, he's... He's got a Sunco sticker on the back of his car, yeah. <laughs> All those things, we, 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 <laughs> we see those occasionally. Okay.